Yeah, hi everyone. So we finally put behind us all the stuff about yeah, making neural networks learn better and train better. So what would be more exciting than introducing a new neural network architecture? So today I want to talk about convolutional neural networks, which are especially good for image data. Convolutional neural networks, that's a big topic. So actually I have enough slides to talk about it like for at least three or four weeks, but uh, I'm trying to keep it focused. So I reduced my slides a little bit to two lectures. So in the first lecture today, I want to talk about um, the basic concept behind convolutional networks and what you can do with them and how they work on the big picture level. And then in the next lecture, I will go more into these different types on, of convolutional neural network architectures. Because yeah, there are lots of uh, neural network architectures that have been developed in the last couple of years, like residual neural networks, VGG networks, and uh, inception networks, and so forth. So in the next lecture, we will talk more about these in detail. Whereas in this lecture, I will give you yeah, the big overview of how convolutional neural networks work. Yeah, so here are the topics I have in mind for today. I know it looks like a lot, but most of them will be very short videos. I just try to make more yeah, subsections to keep things more organized. And I think um, based on what I heard, based on the feedback, uh, you like shorter videos. So in that way, I will try to keep them yeah, shorter and have more, more short videos rather than having fewer long videos. So first, I want to talk briefly about applications of CNNs, so what we can do with CNNs, and then we will talk about image classification in, sp in particular because image classification is one broad aspect or one popular application area of CNNs, um, and that helps us also yeah, studying CNNs better when we use a simple application first. Then I will go over yeah the basics of convolutional networks, like the main aspects behind them, and then focusing on convolutional filters and weight sharing. That's one aspect that um, is part of the convolutional ar architecture. So we will learn a little bit about that. Um, then I will do some <laughs> little nitpicking here. So discussing briefly the difference between cross correlation and convolution. It's not particularly <laughs> important, but maybe one day you will get an interview question about that and then you know the answer. Um, then we will talk about just very briefly about backpropagation in convolutional networks. So it will be a very short video because we I don't want to go into the mathematical details. It will take too much time and it's not super important because you know we can use autograd and yes, yeah, studying maybe the backpropagation in more detail for convolutional networks and deriving it by hand. That would be something for a more advanced course maybe. Then I will just briefly outline what types of convolutional neural network architectures are out there, but this will be mainly a topic for next week. And then we'll briefly see what CNNs can see. So looking, looking a little bit behind the curtain and see what, yeah, what information the CNN in an uh, image looks at and how it processes this information. And then lastly, we will finally then see how we can use convolutional networks in PyTorch. And this is actually not too complicated. So also there, don't worry, it will be a rather short video. So um, next lecture, just to give you an outlook, next lecture, we will then talk about some more advanced concepts. So for instance, if you are already roughly familiar with convolutional networks from some other resources and you wonder why we don't discuss certain things today, that's because I moved them up to the next uh, lecture next week. Otherwise, today's lecture would be really too long. So next week, we will talk about padding, then um, special versions of dropout and batch norm that work with convolutional networks. Then some considerations for training CNNs on GPUs. And then these common architectures like VGG16, residual networks, fully convolutional networks, and inception. There are, of course, maybe 50 more architectures that we can't cover here, but I would say these are still the main ones. There are some yeah, other ones um, that are also popular, but again, we can't talk about everything here. So these will be the main ones. And then I will also show you how transfer learning works. So I re recommended transfer learning to some students in the context of your class projects. So when I was reviewing your class projects, I said sometimes it might be good to use transfer learning. And here in the next week's lecture, I will then also explain what it is. Essentially, it is training the network on a large data set and then fine-tuning fine -tuning it on a smaller data set. Because I noticed uh, many 
students only have small data sets like 500 images and something like that and usually it's tricky to get good performance on a small data set so in that way it's sometimes helpful to pre-train the network on a larger data set before fine-tuning it to your target data set but yeah again we will discuss that next lecture so today we will then start with the first topic what cnns can do <laughs>